morning here. Oh, don't be the dude. Dude. Hi, I'm Steven, and I'm a nomad. I spend most of my time working on the road, and when I'm not on the road, I'm traveling to see friends in beautiful places. My dream is to buy a sailboat and sail away, making videos of all the beauty I see as I go. Welcome to a blissful nomad. For some reason, my dog Hero really loves watching trains. I've never seen anything like it. But while I'm waiting for my orthopedic appointment for my arm, I've taken him to places that have frequent trains passing through. On Interstate 15, right off the Silverwood Lake and Wrightwood exit is a place called the Mormon Rocks. At least that's what we have always called them. Dozens of trains go through the Mormon Rocks every day. It's a really cool place to train watch. There's this awesome train trestle near Paul's Ranch. It's kind of nerve-wracking walking across it, but Hero did a great job the first time. I'm proud of him. He's such a smart dog. Since I took this video, Hero has scampered across the trestle off-leash, waiting for me on the other end with a big smile on his face. One of the things about the Mojave Desert, or any desert for that matter, is that there's a lot of weird shit here. One of those oddities is a lighthouse in the middle of the desert. This isn't some fake little tower that looks like a lighthouse. This is a full-size, fully functioning lighthouse in the Mojave Desert near Hinkley, California. This lighthouse is 50 feet tall and solar powered. It was built in 2017 by an artist named Daniel Hawkins. Paul and I had an adventure day and this is where we ended up. Pretty cool. 
but weird. This lighthouse is literally in the middle of nowhere, and taking the van down these sandy desert roads was a little sketch. There were a couple times Paul and I looked at each other, raised our eyebrows, but we realized we both had triple A and just laughed at the prospect of getting stuck in the middle of the desert. We had plenty of water in the van. Besides, how often do you get to see a lighthouse in the middle of the desert? Since bringing Hero to this ranch, instead of getting depressed about my arm being injured, I've been training him and we've been hiking five to eight miles a day together. Waking early for hikes is amazing. The other morning, we drove up the mountain to Keller Peak and hike, and we took in all the sights. Three weeks ago, I would not have trusted the hero off leash for fear of him running off. He was like that. He's so smart, and now 99% of the time hiking, he's off leash and comes right back when he needs to. Training is going really well. There are some squirrel issues though. I don't really know what Hero's first 11 months were like, but I sure hope that all the hikes, the cuddles, and the trips in the van make his life better.
I'm not gonna lie, Hero has made my life better. I was starting to fall into a deep depression because of the injuries to my arm at work. Training and long hikes together are great antidepressants for sure. Really, Hero? Every single tree? In the mountains above the high desert, there are more magical places I didn't know about. A neighbor, Mark Pactero, and I into his Jeep 4x4 to show me a place within five miles of the ranch that neither Paul or I knew existed. Paul has lived here for 18 years and never been anywhere near. Somehow, I need to get him up there. Up here, it's so much like Joshua Tree, but with vistas, magical vistas, far out into the Mojave Desert. A very special thank you to those who have gone to my Patreon and signed up. It helps a lot. And I love you like a bowl of cheese.